some news from the Angels. This is official now from the team. The Angels have agreed to terms on a one-year contract with Phil Nevin to become the team's field manager. So no longer the interim manager is Nev after he took over for Joe Madden earlier this summer. Phil Nevin will get another year as the skipper for the Halos as we turn on ballpark camp. Shohei Otani throwing his final warm-up pitches of the day. And Tom, as we were in commercial break, you, you brought up an interesting question. <laughs> How long is he going to go? He needs one inning to qualify. Nobody in history has ever qualified as a hitter and a pitcher. He will do that today with one inning. But do they keep him in after that? I don't know. What would you do if you were Phil Nevin? Because this is also a, a last opportunity for him to leave impression, leave an impression on some. If I'm Phil players. Nevin, I'm managing this team next year, and he's coming back. They figured that out <laughs> earlier this week for sure. So I am making sure this guy's ready for me next year. I'm going to need him. I, as far as pitching, you mentioned uh, he's leading the team, leading this team in anything pitching wise isn't really saying a whole lot. No offense to the rest of the guys on the team, but. Leads the team in innings, leads the team in Ks. Obviously, he's had a stellar year out there on the mound, but he means so much to them offensively, too. You wouldn't want to see something happen in a meaningless game for them at the end of the season. I, I Let him go out there, get the inning, if that's what he's looking for. Mm. Outside of that, I'm, I'm going, no, no, I need you back next year. We know it's now at least one more year with Phil Nevin. Also, at least one more year, contractually anyway, for Shohei Otani. There will be a ton of offseason discussion about if that changes before uh, next season, Tom. But as of right now, he's wearing the uniform of the Halos, and he is baseball's unicorn. Yeah, well, first of all, as far as that goes, it's going to take about six to nine months to sell the team. I don't see how they trade one of the team's greatest assets while the team is up for sale. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be left to the next owner, so it could be a July trade next year. That's the way I see it. In the meantime, you're right. This is a unicorn because he's an unbelievable two-way player, but also... I just want to talk about him as a pitcher because I have never seen a pitcher who can beat a team in so many different ways. I mean, you talk about having weapons. Of course, we think about Otani, and the first thing you might think about is a split. I'm going to show you him winning games in five different ways this year. These are all games that he won. This is with his split. Career, uh, season high, 24% splits made the Astros look really bad. 12 punch outs in this game. That split is almost always right on the plate. Great downward move on. Okay, how about the four-seam fastball? He beat the Red Sox in this start with 47 four-seamers. No walks, 11 punch-outs. You might be able to hear him grunting here, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Hear that? He can dial it up there. He just ate up Trevor Story this game. All right, how about the sinker? Wait a second. He had never thrown a sinker before that pitch leading off the game to Jose Altuve. That's right. He broke out a new pitch in September. Are you kidding me? And guess what? It's 195 to 100 with incredible run on it in this game. Five innings, one earned run. Even a little right. backdoor comebacker there. That's not something to usually do first time out. And how about the cutter here? Especially the left-handed hitter. It just eats them up on their hands. Look at the late tight movement on this at 90 miles an hour. Season high, 22 cutters in this game. Why? The Twins have a lot of left-handed hitters who's in play. How about the slider? This is one of the most devastating pitches in baseball when you look at the break on this slider. Throwing this against Oakland here. He threw 108 pitches in this game. 62 were sliders. He threw four four-seamers the whole game. A guy who throws 100 beat a team basically with the slider. Shohei Otani has pitches, multiple pitches that rank among the very best in the game. I want to show you the numbers here. Horizontal movement on the slider best in baseball opponent average on the splitter second best this is among starting pitchers average velo on the sinker i said 97 but second baseball perceived velocity because he's got such extension that four seamer at 97 actually looks 98 to the hitter third best in baseball same on that cutter where that cutter is playing up 90 becomes 91 and a half i've never seen a pitcher like this the best i can come up with is pedro martinez in, in his day <laughs> Four-seam fastball, breaking ball, changeup. Three ways to put you away. This guy's got five ways to put away hitters, and they're not show pitches, Nelly. These are legit put-away pitches. This guy is the unicorn on the mound. It's not just ability, Rick. It's also production yeah. at this level. I mean, last year he was the unanimous MVP. This year he's been even better, and yet probably won't. To do it at this level, 
as something that our, our brains can't compute. All the metrics in the world that Brian Kenny knows that I don't, they're not built for him. No, not for someone to be able to do it to the level he does on both sides. Mm -hmm. And I can't help looking at some of those numbers you just put up right there. I can't help but think, A, as a catcher, how fun it would be to catch someone <laughs> who, can, who has all those weapons and I could just play with hitters and go about lineups and specific individual matchups and really use his strengths versus their weaknesses because he has so many strengths. And then I think, well, what if I was a hitter because I had to do that too. I don't want to face him. Are you kidding me? Just the way he can attack you. I used to love to try to get guys down to maybe two pitches, and you're looking at five elite pitches thinking, how am I going to – what am I going to think about when I'm up here at the plate? I have no idea what I'm going to try to attack. That's what's so beautiful about him as a pitcher. And then as a hitter, I mean – this guy goes out there, puts up 30, 30 doubles, 34 home runs. He's got slugging percent. Everything he does is so elite. The fact that he can do it on both sides, it's mind-boggling because the level of effort, practice it takes to get to do that on one side in baseball, to get to this level and do that, is tremendous. He can do it on both sides as a pitcher and a hitter. I'm trying to think the answer to your question. How long will he pitch today? I mean, last night, Kurt Suzuki caught one strike and then got an epic salute in Coliseum. By the way, tip of the cap. Great career. My mentor, first guy, he, when I came up, that was my guy. Kurt Suzuki. Again, he's, he's calling it a career after 2022. Shoyotani needs one inning, as Tom told you, to qualify as both a pitcher and a hitter.